Okay, welcome everybody. Uh, this is your welcome to the class, Foundations of Research Methodology. I am Dr. Ashton, your professor. This is kind of like a lecture, uh, the you know, first day lecture about the syllabus and the class that the professor gives. Uh, this is for students who are in the class and definitely going to take it, or students who are trying to figure out if they should drop the class or take it or what should they should do. So first off, this is an online class, 100% online, 100% uh, asynchronous. That means that we don't have to be online at the same time. Why am I doing this? This is one of the more difficult courses in the major uh, based on what students say, what professors say, and what the grades say. Uh, so why am I doing this online? Uh, the reason why is uh, several years ago, I was teaching research methods in person uh, on Friday afternoons, uh, around, starting around 3 o'clock. And I had a large number of students who had finished the psych major, more or less, semesters ago, but they had one last class to take and pass, which was research methods. And they were trying really hard, and you know, they said, oh, my uh, boss said that uh, they'll let me get off early on Fridays. And then usually what happens is their boss asks them to stay for inventory or something. They miss a week or so, and then they get behind and they drop it. And so I designed this online course to give students more flexibility so that they can do the course anytime they want. And so that's really who I designed this course for, uh, students who really need to finish up the major, who need to take this course, and uh, you know, uh, need that flexibility. Of course, if you are familiar with online courses and feel comfortable with them, then this would be a good way of taking uh, care of this requirement and studying this uh, important topic. So as normally in a class, the first day the professor will say a few things about themselves. Uh, I am uh, Dr. Ashton, and I uh, have a PhD in social psychology, got that back in 1991. Uh, my research areas in grad school were the fundamental attribution error, stigma of mental illness, and gender and social support. Uh, I've done non-academic uh, work that has worked outside of college uh, in leadership training and community mental health. And I've been at York uh, since 2003. I've uh, taught this course for the last eight or nine years. Uh, my programmatic research, which as you'll understand uh, in a couple weeks, is very important. Uh, my main programmatic work is in attributions of blame and accidents. And I'm looking at uh, you know, the perceptions of the intent of the transgressor on perceptions of blame and damage and accidents. I've also been doing some work in uh, Jungian psychology and specifically the trickster. Uh, I'm you know, writing uh, right now a chapter on the trickster and business ethics. And I have uh, another research program going uh, looking at a Jungian uh, view of the big Lebowski fandom, uh, that is the people who call themselves achievers. And here's me and my wife back uh, a long time ago, Smoky Mountains Park, uh, having a great time. So let me give you an introduction to the topic, research methods. Research methods is a different class than any class you've taken in the psych major, and probably a, a different than other classes, most classes you've taken in college. Uh, the reason why is research methods is a class about process, not content. Uh, when you take abnormal psych, when you take social psych, you're taking a course about conduct, content. Uh, we want you to learn about social psych. Uh, in research methods, we don't want you to learn about research methods. We want you to learn how to do research methods. We want you to understand the process of conducting research. Now, that's a very good description of what I mean, uh, and you probably understand it but you're not really going to understand the full weight of that statement for another couple of weeks. Uh, you're going to see that I'm asking you to do things that are very, very odd-seeming. And the reason why is 
uh, because I'm asking you to focus on the process of research, not the result of research, which we've been doing in every other class. Any place you go, any uh, one you are, this is a challenging course. I've taught research methods at other colleges uh, you know, where students are much more prepared uh, than uh, here at York, and it's still a difficult course. Uh, it's a writing intensive course, and we're going to be doing a lot of writing. And, uh, you know, that's also pretty typical. Uh, you know, one major part of a research methods course, any place, is learning how to write in APA style and learning how to write in a, a technical style. So that's important also. Uh, and then finally, this is an important course. Uh, research methods is an important topic for psychologists. Uh, because this is how we generate what we know. And being able to understand psychology at a deeper level than an average person, you need to understand research methods. 